with a nice hole. This one's patching. There's an electrical box here. Take a closer look. Switch block was situated here and the wires came down the wall. So this has been moved to the other side and I think they tried going through here first and then decided to go a bit higher. So I've got a little bit of cable there which I'll sort out but first of all I need to remove the dust. Dust removed and masked off because I want to be able to seal this paper. So I'm using the thin spray because it's just quicker and easier. Just want to backfill these first of all. Now I can concentrate on removing any grout, any adhesive and possibly what looks like paper there. So I'll dilute the PVA, I'll seal the brickwork and at the same time just wet this area in. It can be sealing and also wetting in at the same time. I'll just keep it dampened. Use a knife to just run around that edge. And also remove any grout. Some of this adhesive and get my paint scraper on it so that will come off quite easy just helps me maintain that level just gently Paper. Get the surface off first. By using your blade, you just get a neater edge when you remove it. Too bad that's just a bit of fill of where the edge of the box was. Just need to remove this bit of grout. So I'll just gently little at a time, little come. What's that? The PVC channel that was removed down here, I found it and got myself a piece and just trimmed it. So now 
this will slide up the back of the and protect the bit of cable that was sitting at the bottom. That's okay. Get some plaster mixed and fill this up. I'm just trimming the edge of the paper around this hole. Just trim this before I fill it. Light chamfer on that. Yeah, light sand, and I'm ready for filling. I've keyed the PVC channel, lightly keyed this surface so this is nice and smooth. This is all smooth. Now I can get this filled up. Starting with anything that's deep first, just using me scraper, in scraper and two in scraper. Just get it on the back filled. Push it into the edges.
let that go off and I can touch it up and wipe round with a damp cloth only this area because I need to stick paper back here About half an hour after I applied the undercoat plaster, I cross keyed it. And now this is completely dry the following day. So I'll get some filler in. I've left this for about an hour. It's not fully dry but hard enough to take another layer. This time a little bit thinner. Just use up what I've got on this. Because the tile adhesive will do the rest of the job. So that's fairly level, that's good. So damp cloth. I'll leave it to dry a bit longer and then just wipe the edges and then I'm ready for my next step. Tools. So I won't need the wet saw and I won't need the tile cutters or the tile saw. So I won't need these two large notch trowels or the grout cleaner, little grout saw there. What we'll need is a small hand trowel there, sponge and applicator and some spacers. So sponge and applicator for the grout and hand trowel there for the adhesive. That's the adhesive I'm going to be using. Here look at that. Pretty good stuff. And then the grout. I'll mix my own grout. Yeah, so coloured grout. And this is white. More properties there. So that's the grout I'll be mixing up. And just that lot. These tile spaces are a bit too small. That's a chunky grout line that is. So what I've had to do is just trim some packers. The old packer. So I've trimmed the ends off. And I've now, see the pencil line. I've now got enough space. I only need one because this will hold well once that adhesive goes on so I've got the height of the tile where I need it I'll just be able to adjust that once the adhesive's on and I did double oh, I did double check it so yeah I can get that there no worries get some adhesive in so, with me sponging I just want to get some adhesive on. I don't want too much. I'll be able to clean up, but just get some on. And the spaces, let's just get this on. And a little bit of pressure, just work it around. So 
now I can make any slight adjustments and just make sure that's level. Remove some of the adhesive. I don't really want too much in there. Quick wipe with a sponge, just using that angle to run inside that joint. And now, just a final quick check. Yeah, that's okay. Sitting level on the top. Good. Just leave that to dry now. Actually, before I do, just wipe the top. Remove the adhesive because this will dry fairly solid. And as soon as you've finished, Wipe everything down, just make sure it's clean. Remove these spaces when it's dry. Now, with the adhesive, border adhesive, and the bits of paper that I've got, I can start to piece this up. I've used a damp cloth, just to dampen off the back. Not wet, just damp. Just softens it a little bit. Now I'll get some glue on the wall. I want to put some underneath that edge first. So start to get these in and I can adjust them when they're all in place before the glue starts to dry too quick. Tucking underneath because some of this rip is underneath. It's not always an idea to try and piece it first and then put it into position so you just know exactly where everything's going. I've just only got one more piece. So when this was stripped off, I've lost a couple of pieces there, but I'll be able to sort that out with some filler. Get this sitting nicely. Now 
So that won't take long to go off enough for me to get this grout in. I could have done it the other way around, but I'd have to wait for the grout to dry. So half an hour grout and three hours after that I can start to get this painted up, do any filling. That's about it for now. And mixing this grout up is pretty much like mixing polyfiller. So I don't want loads but I don't want to run out. So that's plenty. Make a bit of a well. And just a small amount at a time. Let's get it to mix in. It may take a while for it to come together, but it'll soon get there. The water just wants to bead on it. So that's okay. Good smooth consistency so I can spread it about and also it's holding its form. So it's not just gonna run out of the grout line. Let's get some on. I've just got my applicator and I'm going to fill a knife and just load this up. And then just squeeze that in, work it into the joint. Make sure you fill it up. Put the water and sponge. First of all, I'll just clear this out. And just... Rub it all over, keeping the sponge flat. I'm coming across that at a 45 degree, degree angle.
I'll just leave that now for a bit. Well, because I'm patching up, I have to try and match in the grout. So I wouldn't necessarily know what tool they've used here. I'm guessing a sponge to finish off after. Um, so I have loaded my sponge up and now I'm just finishing, just getting the same depth. And it is literally just, just wiping it through. So I'm happy with something that looks pretty much similar. And then if need be, I'll come back to it and just touch it up. Well, that's looking okay now. I'll just concentrate on sorting this out, get some filler in and paint on. But other than that, we're finished. Before I do any filling on this edge of paper, I'm just going to paint it up first. Because the paint will fill quite a lot in. And then also just give you an idea of where I need to fill. Got myself a damp cloth. I'm only using a small brush because it's only a small bit I'm doing. So I will be giving this two coats, obviously. But we'll just see. What needs filling and what doesn't because that's hiding already. too bad the at all. What I'll probably do is mix a hard stop and just rub it in these areas but really there's nothing there, there's hardly anything showing. That's mainly because of the pattern in the paper. So good there. Good repair. 